and traffic in just a few minutes. We'll also do a check of the tropics. And I want to talk about this. Imagine if we could stop tropical systems from ever developing into major hurricanes. It may sound like wishful thinking, right? But one company believes they may have the solution. That's why we're taking you all the way from the U.S. to Norway, where Ocean Therm believes they can combat hurricanes with the power of bubbles. For decades, we've watched powerful hurricanes wreak havoc across the United States. It's images like this that pushed Olav Hollingsater to find a solution. Just now, I've been uh, thinking about this since 2005, actually, uh, when I am and Katrina came into Louisiana. Warm sea surface temperatures helped fuel Katrina, something researchers fear could keep happening as those temperatures continue to rise. But Ocean Therm's bubble curtain could help. When a storm is on the way, they would like to deploy pipes that would release bubbles pushing cold ocean water up to the surface, cutting off the warm water storms need to intensify. The goal is to have a system big enough to stretch across the Gulf or even the Atlantic. But the project is still in its early stages. And in, in 100 meters, we found water cold enough to reduce the surface temperature to below 80. Even with the recent simulator success, Olaf says getting funding has been a challenge. He broke down the numbers and some of the next steps for the projects. We have a commercial validation, which is the sea-based demonstration, which has a price tag of $14.5 million. Uh, because that's a lot of engineering and yeah. development. That may seem pricey, but let's put the numbers into perspective. The total price for those field tests comes in at $17.3 million. That pales in comparison to the $283 billion in damage that was caused by storms in 2017. That year was named the costliest hurricane season on record. It's not the first time scientists have floated the idea for some hurricane prevention, though. So we asked Dr. Tracy Fanara what she thought. So if you change one thing, there's there's a domino effect of changes that will occur. With Florida Red Tide, you could be forcing an upwelling event that causes those cells from the ocean bottom to come up top. However, Dr. Frenara says there is always something to learn from projects like this, and it could have a place just on a smaller scale. Trying to to change the ocean surface closer to shore so that we don't have that increase in intensity is one thing. However, um, impeding on our natural earth processes is something that we're not, we don't understand enough. Now, despite those hurdles, Olaf believes his work can't stop. He wants to help as many people as he possibly can. Now, we wanted you to compare the research for yourself. You can find more information on Ocean Therm's project, plus some of the other issues Dr. Fernara brought up on our website. That's fox4now.com. Very interesting.